Welcome to the People Project. This is guest number two, my friend Liz. <laughs> the story with Liz was pretty funny. My um, my ex landlord's best friend from college, roommate, is Liz, and she lives in Santa Barbara. And when I first met her a few years ago, we instantly connected. We became really, really tight friends in a snap because we have the same sense of humor. She's very caring. She loves animals, and she she's she knows how to dance. She knows how to like get down. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and this is Liz. Her, her laugh is super contagious. It's super lovely, very bubbly, very happy person. And I'm very glad for you to be guest number two. Thank you, Liz. And this is just for us. This is for you to see in the future. For you, just like if the server goes crazy, like this is just for people who can relate to you. Okay. And my first question was just because like. I'm lost in life. I don't know what I want to do. A lot of people, you know, like, I just want to get knowledge from every type of person, every type of age, every, every age, just, you know, everything. I just, I think everyone has something to give. So I want to get to know you a little bit more. Okay. Um, my first question is like, who are you, Liz? Like, what's your demographic? Like, who are you? Who am I? I am a 28 year old girl. That's actually something you, you Who lives in Santa Barbara. I'm originally from Michigan. Um, came here when I was 18. Been doing Santa Barbara now for 10 years. Almost 11. Um, definitely a Cali girl, not a Michigan girl. Uh, yeah, just a big old stoner still. <laughs> Why do you think you're not a Michigan girl and a Cali girl now? Because I feel like I'm a local now and... I'm so over Michigan and the lifestyle that everybody's living in Michigan, so I'm happy I got the fuck out of there when I did. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So my next question was, would be, what is your passion in life? What do you think your calling is? My calling will one day be animals, but who knows as of right now. I always wanted to work with animals, but... Where do you think that stemmed from? Working with animals and loving animals so much. Where do you think it stemmed from? Yeah. Um, definitely my dad, hanging out with my dad a lot. We always had animals when we were kids and birds and turtles and snakes. <laughs> what and was your favorite animal growing up? My favorite animal was always like, honestly, like the average cat or dog. Like, can't, I literally can't live without a cat. Like, Fair. yeah, so I'm definitely a cat dog person, but I still want a bird. I still want reptiles. I still, oh, fish, fish. What am I talking about? <laughs> fish are literally my life. So uh, she, I love fish. She has a coolish fish tank right now. It is phenomenal. Yeah. What's the weirdest animal you've ever had? Probably Tai Tai, my bearded dragon. I haven't. What? Well, I think that's. A, she's adorable. Yeah, but... she's just. She's interesting. She's a very lazy pet, so you kind of forget about her sometimes, but. <laughs> have you ever forgot about her? I have forgotten about her. <laughs> she's Worst... so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Worst place you forgot about her? Uh, I left her on the couch overnight a few times. <laughs> 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 but she always seems place and doesn't move so I just found it in the next morning. <laughs> That's funny. Well what's your my next question is like what's your profession right now? Is it anything related towards animals? Or? No, I work at a place called Family Court Direct, so we're like a legal aid system oh, that's too. Fun. Yeah, I work in customer. St Liz, you're not happy with your work career right now. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, I work from home and everything, so that's super chill. But like. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I work in like a self-help department, so like I am still helping people, but like... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I want to do like customer service, but like not work with people, so I need to figure it out. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. So, where do you see yourself in the next five or ten years? Like, where do you want to take yourself professionally-wise? Um, not sure yet. Again, I had a really good job at IPT and everything, but like that didn't work. So like I ended up getting this new job, but it's kind of just like a basic job until yeah. I kind of figure out what I need to be doing. <laughs> but you know you want to do something with animals. I do, one day, yeah. That's good. Do you know what that is? 
Or no. You, no. I know I want to yeah. help animals, but like the thought of like seeing like a damaged animal would oh. be really hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So like I can't really, who knows? I might like volunteer or like at a shelter or something or like just do nice things like that. Yeah. All right. Okay. My last question was, what do you want to, what knowledge do you want to give the world if there's anything you want to like just share some wisdom? Or teach the world, if you could. Oh my god, go to school. Go to school. Like, go to school. Even if you don't know what you're doing, still go to school to get all your basic stuff done. Because I didn't, and I really regret that now in life. And now I'm going to have to go to school when I'm like 30. But That's fun. It's fun, <laughs> but I should have did it when I was younger. And I should have just gotten it all over with. And I probably have. I mean, no offense, Monty, you went to school and everything. And... I don't have a job. <laughs> but, and that like sucks. And like, I wouldn't ever want someone to go through that either. But like, at least you have that behind you. So when you do get a good job, you'll have that school behind you. And I'm behind you whenever you need it. You want, if you need that push to go to school, I'll yeah. help you go to school. Cause you're right. Like no matter what age you are, you could always go back to school. Yeah. That's like my biggest thing that I wish I would have done differently, so. <laughs> thank you for reminding me that I have to get a job. <laughs> well, thanks, Liz, yeah. for being number two. She, she's in that picture frame that says family, like, me and her have this really tight connection, and she's like a sister to me now, and I'm just grateful for you to be my second interview. And thank you for having me. I can't wait for you to work with animals and go back to school and get your degree. Yeah, one day. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna go get hot for now. <laughs>